Um, I'm Caleb Sanders. I'm a teacher in Wyoming. Um, and I've written some activity books and various things that give ideas to classroom teachers, but um, I'm still teaching. This is like my 22nd year. I enjoy it. I coach. I'm just right in the trenches with a lot of you. It's definitely somewhat new editing PDFs and then annotating PDFs. That, that part's not necessarily new. I mean, we had to start annotating PDFs more as a teacher when um, you know, probably right before COVID a little bit when I started using some other programs where students submitted their work on these programs and the easiest way to have them submit work or create an assignment was with a PDF. So I'd create a PDF, it would go out to the students and um, they could either write on it, send it back, and then I could annotate my, um, my feedback, which is something I love about PDFs. Um, I just love those tools, especially when they're writing essays, short answer responses, still. Like in the world that I live in as a teacher and as a coach, when I'm communicating with parents, when I'm sending out schedules, um, whether it's athletic schedules or whether it's a, a letter to a parent about, hey, we're gonna watch this movie in class, or we're gonna do this activity in class. I need something that parents can receive, um, possibly sign, but just let's talk about the receiving part for a second. It seems to be that PDFs are compatible when they go through to a phone. Um, for me, they're compatible than a lot of other documents um, that parents receive through whatever, you know, mobile device or whatever format they're getting it in. So I love that about PDFs because I know that they're gonna read it and it's not gonna be messed up when they get it. Um, and then the awesome thing about Foxit PDFs is that they have the e-signature which I have actually used, not a ton, but I have used. Um, and since I'm on the, the topic of e-signatures, um, I write lots of letters, letters of recommendations for students. I mean, every year, lots of those. And um, I love that feature with the e-signature that I can just do that instead of taking extra steps where I'd have to take it to a copy machine, scan it onto a USB drive, come, you know, first of all, sign it, scan it, get it back to my computer. I mean, there's just so many extra steps and having the e-signature um, cuts out a lot of those steps. Like on the editing side too, I'm, I'm transferring a lot of what I do when I'm creating um, documents or if I'm creating activities, um, there's a lot more that I can do on the editing side with um, Foxit PDF. So I like that and I'm still learning it.